So what I'm doing here is I have a set of DW collectors, which um, are the hard oil satin finish or whatever it's called. It's not a lacquer finish. Um, so they recommend that once a year, if that, you take all your hardware off and um, buff them up with some tongue oil. So I don't know if you ever watch any of my videos, which I haven't done in forever and are kind of cheaply made and corny, but um, I'm a painter by trade. Uh, I run my own painting company. So I thought this should be an easy task. As you can see, they come up beautiful. Um, and another cool thing too is that this note is a B. So to really um, have the shell empty and like it actually is a B. Hopefully that picks up, but anyways. So yeah, I've been uh, buffing them with uh, tongue oil. And I just got them sitting by a fan uh, just to help them dry out a little bit before I put all the hardware back on. But uh, this is the product. The Minwax tongue oil. So, my dad passed away. 2004, November 26, 2004, and I got a call in the morning, um, so I had to go rush to my uncle's house, he was living with my uncle because my parents had divorced, and they said something's wrong with your dad, that's the call that I got, 7 o'clock in the morning, something's wrong with your dad, come over quick, so I got there, and uh, he passed away in his sleep. Good way to go, I guess, right? But um, so anyway, if anyone's ever experienced, uh, you know, a family member that's passed away or anything, everything happens so fast. You know, one minute you're finding out that you know the person passed away, the next minute, um, you know family's there the next minute you know all the stuff is just going on it's pretty crazy and hectic and then all of a sudden you're at the funeral home picking out a casket and an hour later you're at home so I didn't know what the hell to do with myself so I was just sitting at home sitting around and uh, didn't really know what to do so yeah anyways um, when you're putting this stuff on, just work it in with the grain. I don't know, I'm trying not to hit the inside of the bearing edge or anything, but, um, and I just buff the DW logos after I get a little bit of oil on it, I just buff it off, but yeah, so anyway, didn't really know what to do with myself, um, and my wife now, but at the time was my girlfriend, she was away visiting her friend um, for Thanksgiving, American Thanksgiving, just kind of home alone, didn't know what to do with myself, so I went down to my local music store and uh, talked to a couple of the guys, and I ended up getting uh, a couple snare drum heads, uh, went home, tuned up all my snare drum heads, and you know, just with a sharpie I marked on the underside of it, November 26th, R.I.P. Dad. So kind of make it a tribute to him every year uh, on that time I would uh, change my snare drum heads which then eventually evolved into um, changing my whole entire drum set heads and tuning them and uh, just messing around and doing something drum related so this year uh, for American Thanksgiving, uh, we 
actually hosted it for our family, so it was a busy time and work was busy, so I didn't really have much time to uh, do anything, so I had the idea of getting the Minwax tongue oil and uh, taking my drums apart and cleaning them up. thought it'd be really interesting to do it. So I'm doing it. So if anybody out there has a uh, collector's kit with the, uh, the oil finish, um, pop your lugs off, take your drums apart, and uh, I just keep kind of applying it. They say apply a heavy coat, let it sit for five to ten minutes, and then buff it off. Well, I find that uh, if I leave it on too long, it gets sticky. So I just load it on, rub it in with the grain, and then uh, buff it off with a soft cloth. Uh, the, the, the coolest thing, though, is uh, actually hitting them and, and listening to the note of the shell and just seeing how much it actually does resonate. It's pretty cool. And it truly is the note that it says inside. You know? So yeah, load it on nice, even, rub it in the grain and, uh, and it's still nice and wet like this. Just buff it in. Hopefully the camera's picking this up, I have no idea. Um, it gets a little sore on the wrist for some reason, the way I have to hold the drum. My wrist is cramping up a bit, but... Uh, yeah, they come really sharp. I, uh, on the 26, I actually did um, the bass drum. Uh, I didn't take it apart though, I just kind of poured some on the cloth and uh, went around the lugs and buffed off all the excess. Um, and it came out really nice, I was really happy with it. So it's just kind of a matter of time before I get to these toms and everything. Uh, but it's just neat, it's neat. To, uh, I would love to be a drum builder or just do anything. stick you just want to leave it be. Let's set up a little bit. So this shell is a E flat, which also could be a D sharp. So I'll give you a little Cool, eh? It just kind of—it's kind of got the diagonal grain because they're uh, VLT shells. Um, I found that the lugs were very hard to take off. Like I felt like I was going to break them trying to just release them from the shell made me very nervous. But then I found that if I just unscrew the screw a little bit, there's two screws to each lug, so you unscrew obviously on the inside, but unscrew it a little bit, unscrew it a little bit, and then just boom, just kind of push on those two screws. Or even I had a little screwdriver, I would just kind of, while it's in the screw, just kind of pop it, and then that would kind of, uh, release it nice for me. So I'm just kind of going to town on these, really. I just keep putting it on and buffing it off and putting it on and buffing it off. I'll let this tack up. It's starting to tack up a little bit now, so I'll kind of let it just absorb in there. Uh, then I've got one of these, uh, these are like for cleaning glass. So I got a couple of those. I'm going to use them to uh, 
in the hardware after I assemble everything. I just want to make sure I don't have anything on the actual edge. So yeah, um, this is my dad, it's a picture of him at uh, my cousin Danny's wedding, it was one of the last uh, times we spent together with everybody, it was a good time. Uh, as you can see he's got a beer in his hand and smiling, um, his name's Emilio, but uh, his nickname is Smiley. my tribute to Smiley this year and if I put this over here yeah so then I just kind of take a, a towel lay it out here I'll put the shell on it and uh, just give it a spin you know what? I'm gonna grab one more my hands are a little sticky I don't want to get this stuff all on the I'll just give it a good spin like that on the towel just to clean up the edge. Make sure there's not uh, any weird residue or anything on it. So I'm not too sure if that's good for it or not. I would assume, uh, oh, who knows. I guess I could have taped it off too, but so yeah, I'll just let that tack up a little bit. Um, like I said, I just got a little fan on low here, just blowing on everything. So that's the one shell there. Here's the bass drum. I was really impressed with how the bass drum came. And like I said, I just lightly went around everything. Wiped it on, wiped it off, wiped it on, wiped it off, wiped it on, wiped it off. Um, and just buffed it really good. I actually did the floor tom too because it was easier with all the hardware on. But um, I'm probably going to take it off and clean that one too. Because uh, I think I'm going to get some new heads um, for the top. I'm going to try some coded heads, um, G1s, the Evans, and uh, tune them up like I usually do around this time of year. So yeah, here's all the hardware, right? all the rim mounts, tom mounts, whatever the hell they are. The lugs, the screws, just keep everything organized here. Put everything back together. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Like I said, if anyone's thinking about uh, polishing up their uh, satin oil drums, tongue oil does work nice. Uh, just keep working it. Read the directions. Um, and uh, it really makes them shine. It brings back the luster. So anyways, happy drumming, guys. And uh, keep on rocking. Cheers, Dad. Happy holidays, everyone.